Okay, here's a feed training update uh, for my crappies. I have hybrid and black crappie. Um, I start out with little cups like these with uh, a little bit of water at the bottom. Um, I put frozen bloodworms in there so that they can thaw out. And I put just a little bit of Aquamax 400 in there so that they get kind of soggy and soft. And then we feed the they're pretty aggressive. They'll come to the top. Not all of the fish, in fact, very, very few. I'd say maybe 10% of them will eat the pellets. Most of them are really good at being able to tell visually the difference between the blood worms and the pellets. You can see the pellets are just kind of left up there. Um, sometimes I only feed pellets and they're more likely to eat the pellets when I do that. But right now, I just moved them and they're stressed and I'm just trying to kind of get their strength back up so I'm making sure that they have plenty of blood worms and plenty of food that they'll eat. Um, if they don't eat these pellets in the next 30 seconds or so, I'll, I'll go ahead and remove them out. Um, there's no more red ears in here that eat pellets. I put those in another tank. So these, these are only hybrid crappie right now. Now let's go over to the black crappie. Um, they're a little shyer. They don't like to come to the top as much. I mean, especially at first, they they will to feed when, especially whenever they start seeing the food in there. And uh, you can tell they're they're picking out the blood worms, but not super into the pellets right now. Um, I have seen them eat the pellets. Uh, there's some bigger ones in there that are from last year that are pellet trained, but there's, they just moved in here yesterday and they're a little shy. Um, I, this is a brand new system, this indoor system, so uh, they just moved two days ago. And uh, they're, they're not super acclimated. We're getting, we're getting them reused to me feeding them and um, them being happy to see me rather than shy that I'm gonna come grab them out and put them in a small little bucket and move them. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skim the, that leftover food at the top, but, but it wasn't a real good visual. The, I would say the feed training is not successful yet. Um, I still am very optimistic that it will be. I, um, part of the reasons for error is that I've moved these guys twice, the stress. And, you know, I just haven't been really feeding them frequently. I, I feed them at least once a day. I try to, uh, sometimes twice a day, but... Um, not, not quite as, as often as I think I would have been beneficial.